The video is divided into three chapters. First, we will introduce dynamic TF, including vision at bottom hand eye calibration, dynamic TF setting method, then verify the effect of dynamic TF. Then there is the function of dynamic UF, hand eye calibration with on hand vision, teaching the use of dynamic UF, and verify the effect. Finally, we will combine the two functions. Demonstrate the effect of simultaneous use. The system architecture required for this teaching video is as follows. DRS series robot. And with the corresponding controller to control the robot. The bottom vision and on-hand cameras are mounted above and below the robot, respectively. Identify the pattern of TF and UF. One industrial computer installed DIA Vision VGR software to control the two cameras and communicate with the robot controller by TCP Modbus. And Vision is not limited to using DIA Vision VGR. Any Vision component that can communicate with the robot controller is suitable for this paradigm. We have a camera on the robot and one on the bottom. And suck up the sample with the nozzle. At the beginning, we need to use the hand-eye calibration function to establish the conversion relationship between the vision and the robot. Move the template to where the camera can capture it. Open VGR software. Click Flow Edit. Add a shape process. Click Save. Enter the shape setting page. Select the samples to be identified. Click Save. Then set the result of the visual output. Click Output. The output data required for hand-eye calibration include the count of shapes, X, Y coordinates, and angles. Close the window after adding these results. Then set the output Modbus address. Then add an output group to output finish flag. And assign the Modbus address. Click Finish. For hand-eye calibration we need to record three positions. First is the sample center corresponding to the visual center. After rotating the fourth axis, the sample center corresponds to the visual center. Fix the J4 axis position and move the sample center to about half of the screen. Record the first point after moving the sample center near the visual center. Rotate the fourth axis. Then move the sample center to the vicinity of the center point. Record the second point. Keep this angle and move the center of the sample to about half of the frame. Record the last point. Save point. Set up the communication between the robot and the VGR. Click Communication Modbus. Set the Modbus address of the robot to trigger the camera to take pictures. And tick Enable. Then switch to Modbus tab. TCP Client tab. Set the robot IP, station number, port. Then click Connect. The automatic calibration routine can be executed. Instructions related to hand-eye calibration require DRA Studio version 7.52 or above to apply. Here you need to set calibration related parameters. You can set it according to the screen first. For detailed description of each setting, please refer to the user manual. Finally, perform automatic calibration through the VS underscore autocalcf command. After the execution, the robot will automatically run some positions. After waiting, the automatic calibration will be completed. Then we perform dynamic TF setting using the current sample. Follow the codes on the screen. The robot will automatically set the captured sample center point as the new TF center point and move to the center of the screen. Try it out and see the effect. After executing the set TF, rotate with this TF. Make sure to rotate around the center of the sample. Then deliberately change the sample position. Run the program again. 
At this time TF is corrected to the new point. The robot can also be rotated at this point. Prove that the TF switch is successful. In practice, this method can ensure the position after each suction. Eliminate pick deviations. Then use dynamic UF. First of all, it is necessary to establish the relationship between the on-hand vision and the robot. Place the sample within robot reach. Open VGR. Click process edit. Add a shape process. Click save. Enter the shape setting page. Select the samples to be identified. Click save. Then set the result of the visual output. Click output. The output data required for hand-eye calibration include the count of shapes, x, y coordinates, and angles. Close the window after adding these results. Then set the output Modbus address. Then add an output group to output finish flag. And assign the Modbus address. After confirming the trigger settings and connection, click Finish. Start teaching. The center of the first point sample is moved to the vicinity of the visual center. Record the first point. The second point rotates the fourth axis. Then move the sample center to the vicinity of the visual center point. Record the second point. The third point maintains this angle and moves the center of the sample to about half of the screen. Record the last point. Execute the program to start automatic calibration. After the end, put the UF sample to set. Open VGR software. UF needs three points of origin, X point, and XY point to construct a coordinate system. Therefore, three new shape processes are added. Then set the origin sample. Click parameter. Advanced settings. Turn on rotation center. Drag the rotation center point to the origin position. Then move to point X. Set X point sample. Define the center point of the X axis in the same way. Then move to the XY point. Set the XY point in the same way. Save these settings. Then set the output item. We must output the counts of shapes, X, Y coordinates, and angles of these three shape comparisons. Set the output Modbus address. Add the finish flag address. Follow this code to configure UF operation. The robot will grab these three anchor points. Then define a new user frame. Then the robot moves to the origin of the coordinate system. After actually operating the robot and shooting the three positioning points, move to origin. At this time, the entire sample is deliberately moved. 
although the position has been moved. But as long as the camera has captured the positioning point, the robot can still move exactly to the origin. Practical application we can build UF in the place tray. This way the work points recorded on this UF do not have offsets due to the deflection of the placement. Finally combine these two functions. First create a dynamic TF. Teach placement points on UF with this set of TF. Programs that combine both sides. The robot takes the sample first. After dynamically changing TF, re-identify UF anchor points and construct coordinates. Then put them in the corresponding positions in sequence. Deliberately move these sample positions. Although the pick and place positions have changed. But because this function, the robot corrects the offset during the running process. Therefore, the sample can still be accurately placed in the correct position. Summarize the teaching content. The hand-eye calibration function automatically establishes the coordinate conversion relationship between the robot and camera, which can be easily used regardless of whether the camera is externally fixed or mounted on the robot. Dynamic TF can correct the pick offset and solve the problem of the end tool pick unstable. Dynamic UF can correct the place offset, which is suitable for dealing with insufficient place position constraints. Visual positioning requirements often appear in processes such as pick and place, assembly, plug-in, screw. Delta Robotics can provide a complete solution. The above is the teaching content of this video. Thank you for watching.